Well, this next story, it's going to have you do a double take because apparently drug addicted sharks may be consuming cocaine off the coast of Florida. Yes, you heard that right. We have so many questions regarding this story. So to answer some of those, we are pleased to welcome Fox 35 Orlando's Esther Bauer. Esther, oh my gosh, when I first read about this, I literally did a double take. But tell us to begin with, how did scientists even think to check if sharks were ingesting cocaine? Well, it definitely does sound like the next uh, movie we should go see sharks ingesting um, cocaine. But researchers say the reality is we already know cocaine bales wash up here on Florida shores quite frequently. So cocaine's already in the water. Sharks are already in the water. And these researchers say we have studied how different things that seep into our waterways affects other animals. We just have not studied sharks quite yet until now how do sharks react if they come in contact with cocaine? It sounds crazy, but researchers say sharks ingesting cocaine isn't out of the water. If these cocaine bales are traveling in the same pathways as these sargasm patches, the sharks may be exposed without even realizing it. Dr. Tracy Fanara is an environmental engineer on a mission to understand what effect cocaine would have on sharks. We know with other species, they their metabolism might slow down, their reproduction, their movement might actually slow down. We know with other species, things speed up. It matters in Florida because drug bales are found in the water often. There has been no research specifically on sharks and cocaine in the Florida waters where it's most prevalent. So far, Dr. Fanara has done preliminary tests on how sharks would react to stimulants in the water. If the shark would choose the bale over its common food source. So that was one of the tests. Along with other shark experts, they're now expanding the study and want to tag sharks and test blood samples because everything, even drugs in the water, ends up somewhere and has a direct impact on humans. That everything that we put in our bodies, that we put on our bodies, all of that ends up in our ecosystem, affecting the aquatic life that we depend on to survive. Reporting on the Space Coast, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News. Oh, Esther, can, uh, can you still hear me? We just finished your package. Uh, I hope that you're still with us because uh, I really just need to know what your final thoughts are of this cocaine shark story out of Florida. I'm from Miami. So honestly, when I heard about it, I wasn't too surprised. Uh, but what do you think based on your research in this? <laughs> Well, I just think it's really um, important to get past, you know, the really catchy headline of sharks and uh, cocaine. You don't think of those two being um, paired, but I just really loved what this doctor said is it's really important to think about how everything we use, you know, whether that's body creams, whether that's, you know, drugs, other pharmaceuticals, when they get washed away into the water, that's going into fish, it's going into sharks, it's going into all this wildlife that we may not think about it. And that food chain, it directly comes back to us. So that was my biggest takeaway. Um, Dr. Fanara says this is an early on study, but she's really excited to be, you know, starting this conversation, starting to collect data and just looking at the long term effects. Um, if these sharks are consuming this drug, how it would affect our behavior and the impact that could have um, when we think about humans interacting with sharks. I just covered a couple of shark attacks off of the coast here on the um, Space Coast. So how, if they're ingesting drugs, is that affecting behavior and what we could see moving forward? So definitely something to watch, something to um, track. And Esther, I understand that the Discovery Channel is going to be doing a special on this during their shark week. So are you going to be tuning into that? <laughs> Oh, absolutely. I need to learn all I can about sharks because they really do scare me. So I need to <laughs> feel like I know what I'm working with. So I um, will. <laughs> definitely uh, some people's biggest fears and before it was cocaine bear, now possibly cocaine sharks. <laughs> I just don't know what's going to happen next, but I'm definitely, definitely interested to find out. Esther Bowers, Fox 35 Orlando. Thank you so much for joining us on Live Now from Fox. Thank you, guys.